Want to know how I got these scars? My father was a drinker and a fiend. So one night, he goes off crazier than usual. Money gets the kitchen knife to defend herself. Doesn't like that. Not one bit. So me watching, he takes the knife to her, laughing while he does it. He looks at me and he says, <laughs> why so serious? Bark is a text to audio tool that allows you to create a text prompt and annotate it with directions to indicate emotions, pauses in speech, singing, multiple voice actors, mixing languages, and other features. You can run Bark from a Google Colab, Hugging Face Spaces, or locally on your PC. To check out the main repo, you can see the link in the description. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install and run Bark locally on your PC. Let's get started. Make a folder on your computer and name it Bark. Make sure you have the CUDA Toolkit 11.7 installed. Link in the description. If you're not sure what version of CUDA is installed in your computer, you can type nvcc version in a command window to find out. Type command in the address bar of a folder to open the command window. Make sure you have Anaconda installed. If not, please pause this video and do so first. I'll put a link in the description to the commands I'm about to show. These were taken from the Bark Discord. Link in the description. First, type conda create dash dash name bark python equals 3.10.10 and enter. I'm not going to do that here because I've already done that. This will take a little while to set up. When the setup is complete, type conda activate bark and hit enter to activate the conda environment. Type conda install and the following to install PyTorch and the connection to NVIDIA. Again, I will not do this here because I've already set this up. Now we're going to clone a fork of the Bark repo called Bark Infinity. Link in the description. This allows you to create much longer audio files than by using the main branch of the repo. Type the following in the command window to clone the repo. I will not do this here because I've already created the repo. When finished, type cd bark. Then type pip install space period to install dependencies. This will take a little while to complete. When this is finished, type pip install sound file. Another important dependency. When this is complete, now we're ready to create our audio file based on the prompt. Before we do that, let's take a quick look at this test prompt. We can see the first part, python space bark underscore perform dot py runs the script. The first argument dash dash text prompt contains your text prompt within the quotes. The next argument dash dash history prompt announcer specifies one of the pre-made voices available. And the last argument dash dash file name allows you to give the audio file a specific name. There are other argument settings you can use. See GitHub repo for details. Going to enter all of this into the command window and press enter. After a minute or so, depending on your computer speed, you'll see an audio file appear in Bark samples. Click to play. Want to know how I got these scars? My father was a drinker and a fiend. So one night he goes off crazier than usual. Money gets the kitchen knife to defend herself. Doesn't like that. Not one it. So me watching, he takes the knife to her, laughing while he does it. He looks at me and he says, <laughs> why so serious? He comes at me with the knife. Why so serious? <laughs> put a smile on their face. <laughs> so that about does it for this tutorial. To learn more, check out the Bark Discord or Twitter. There's also a Gradio web UI you can try out. Link in the description. And a repo for a one-click installer for Bark. Link in the description. Hope you learned something and enjoy the tutorial. Give it a go and please share your creations here in the comments. I'd love to see what you use this for. Please give the tutorial a like, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon to be notified of the next tutorial when it comes out. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.